Hey everyone, Jordan with Voight Smith Innovation. Today we're going to do an overview of an AgriMax 103616 on one of our Kubota tractors. We have a lot of people ask about how the AgriMax plows get installed, and while every manufacturer tractor is a little bit different, uh, this Kubota M6 is, is pretty comparable to most of the installs we do. So this one, you can see you got this undercarriage uh, with the lift cylinder. That's a part provided by Metal Plus. Each brand of tractor has its own specific mounting plate. You see this plate with the bolts here? You're going to have different plates for different uh, brands and also different sizes of tractors, so it's very important if you're ordering an Agrimax plow to make sure you order the right plate, uh, and that's something we can help you do. Uh, as I mentioned previously, this tractor is uh, plumbed full hydraulic, so you'll see here typically where you find the solenoid block, the electric solenoid, you don't have one here, and that's because we have all of the plumbing running to the back remotes on the tractor. So what that looks like is back here, you'll see there's four separate remotes on the tractor, um, and they all run to the front of the tractor. Now, a cleaner way to do this is to run hard plumbing with all four remotes all the way to the front of the tractor and have a block that the hydraulics uh, connect into. But on this particular tractor, it didn't have that hard plumbing, so we ran it this way. And these lines run in and under the Metal Plus undercarriage, which again, it's not the ideal install, but it does work fairly well. So I wanted to give you guys an overview of what it looks like to run an Agrimax plow in a tractor, specifically a Kubota M6 uh, 101 tractor here. Um, this particular tractor is plumbed with four remote valves. Uh, so this, this plow is uh, full hydraulic, uh, no solenoid valve. I'll show you what the difference looks like in a minute here. Um, so basically, plow is up right now. You can see over here I got my four levers. The way we have it plumbed is this one is your up and down. This one is your center mold board. And then we've got our left wing and our right wing. So the, the one nice thing about full hydraulic is you don't have any wiring to run. Uh, you don't have any um, potential of failure of your solenoid valve. The only way your plow is not going to work is if your tractor hydraulics aren't working or you run out of fluid. Uh, another nice thing that maybe is not a huge deal to some, but some people like the fact that without the solenoid you can run both wings at the same time. When you're using the solenoid valve, only one portion of it can be open at once, so you can't can't move the center mold board and the wings at the same time, can't move both wings at the same time. Not a huge deal, but some advanced operators really like the ability to run them separately. If you don't have four remotes on your tractor or you can't add four remotes, Metal Plus has a nice option, factory option. Uh, it's a joystick um, that you can actually mount, it can screw onto one of your remote handles. So you'd screw this onto the remote handle for your wings. Uh, and then these switches right here would control whether your left or right wing goes. So it's a momentary switch. So when you're holding the button down, like you're holding the left button down, that means the left wing would be controlled by this remote valve. If you're holding the right button down, the right wing is controlled. If you're holding no buttons down, then it controls the center mold board. So some people like the ease of running it that way. Um, it is a little bit easier to learn or quicker to learn than running four separate valves like this. But again, it's up to preference. I personally like the reliability and the consistency of having it plumbed into the tractor. And it also does save you uh, some money, at least on the plow, by not having the solenoid block on there uh, because you just direct plumb it right into the tractor. While installing a Metal Plus plow on an ag tractor is a little bit more in depth than installing it on a loader, we find that the ROI of using plows on tractors is well worth it. If you're not familiar with using plows on tractors, we've got some great information out there. Get a hold of us and we'll be glad to send it to you. Have a great day.